All right, everybody, it's almost vacation time, and I have curated my absolute favorite products to bring with me on vacation. I cannot travel without them. One thing that I love to take with me is obviously sunscreen, and I love this one because this sort of duels as a glow on the body. So this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. It's also Scott Barnes recommended, which is JLo's makeup artist. He uses it for all clients on their chest to give that radiant glow. Well, I always like to have a dry shampoo on hand. This one is from Design Me Hair. They have a dry shampoo for blondes and brunettes, and that was always my struggle when I had darker hair. I'd spray the dry shampoo in my hair and my roots would look white. So they have come up with a solution for that. This one looks a bit darker when you spray it and this one is for blonde so it's a bit lighter and it makes your hair refreshed in the morning without having to actually wash your hair. When it comes to warm climates, you obviously want to make sure that you have a great primer with you. I love this one from Lancome. It's called Prep and Matte. So for people that are oily, you're definitely going to want to bring a Prep and Matte primer, something that is matte through the T-zone. You don't have to put it everywhere, just mainly through the T and this will keep your makeup looking fabulous all day long. When it comes to being on the plane, there's a couple things that you can do to make sure that you stay hydrated. I love having these Dior lip glows with me. They give my lips a bit of color without it looking overt. I love to use these underneath colors that are matte and are a bit drying but have a lot of pigment. These sit really nicely underneath them. So similar to using like a lip balm, you can put these on before putting on your long wear matte lipstick. I also love to have a hydrating spray. This one from G Beauty is amazing. It says three times the hydration. It works really well like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. This is like water for your face. Next thing that I love are under eye masks. When it comes to under eye masks, the reason that I love them is they can reduce the look of dark circles, reduce puffiness, fine lines, and they also do have collagen in them and you put them underneath your eyes. I would put them on and just let them sit on for almost an hour if you're flying. Throw these on and let them do its work. Put a serum on, do your skincare routine on the plane. Why not? The other thing that I love to do on the plane is hydrate my lips. Obviously the Dior Lip Glow is amazing, which I just spoke about, but if you're looking for something that doesn't have any pigment, I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. You just put a thick coat of this over your lips and it will hydrate them and make them amazing for stepping off the plane. The other thing that I love, especially when it comes to going to warm climates and being on the beach, is using cream blushes. These are from Glossier. These are called Cloud Paints. I love these in the color Beam and Puff. So one is peachy and one's a bit more pink. You can literally wear nothing on your skin, no makeup, no foundation, just sunscreen, and just basically dab this on the apples of the cheek, blend it out. It gives you a nice flush of color, and you can also put a little bit on the lips as well. So it's just great to have something that's really sheer like this that offers a little bit of color but not too much and keeps the skin looking really hydrated and fresh. When it comes to having that beachy glow, even if you're traveling somewhere where you're not on the beach, I love this Becca Glow Stick. It's amazing for creating a bit of a pop on the tops of the cheekbones. Again, it would complement the uh, Glossier cloud paint really well. Once you have that cloud paint on, you just take a little bit of this and pop it on the tops of your cheekbones and it just makes you look like you've really taken the time to take care of your skin. For work trips, you usually don't have a lot of time to spend in the mirror getting ready. So I love eyeshadows that are quick and easy, stay put. These two are really flattering on all skin tones and types. One's like a bronzy tone. This one is jean and it's more of a champagne tone. Both are beautiful together or separately. You just do the wash of color on the lid of the eye, blend into the crease, and literally you're done. That's all you need to do. You don't even need to pack a palette or anything else. Another product that I personally love is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is a cream bronzer. I love just buffing it all over the skin, mainly in the areas that you would use like a typical bronzer, but this isn't powdery and it also looks really great with your sunscreen. It gives you that glow without making you look chalky or dry. So the other thing that I love to bring with me is Voluminous from L'Oreal Black Mascara in Carbon Black. Waterproof is the key point here. So when you are traveling, you wanna make sure that your lashes are always staying put, whether you're at the beach or at the pool, there's just nothing that actually beats this mascara. So I would recommend getting it just for your everyday and also, of course, for traveling. 
I love just being able to throw in a quick clip or something that makes it look fancy but also took me no time. These are actually from Amazon and they're super trendy right now. They're little pearl clips and they come in different shapes and sizes. You just clip them in your hair in different places and you can actually put a couple in, especially if you're traveling in warmer climates. If your hair's all frizzy but you have a cute clip in there, you look polished. Another thing that I love to bring with me is this headband when I'm cleansing my face or needing to put my hair back. It's just a fun travel piece to take with you as well. When it comes to salvaging your hair and not having to style it too often, I love these elastics. It doesn't kink the hair at all, which I appreciate if you're on the plane and you don't want your hair to feel too tight. These are just a really good answer to be able to put your hair up without having to restyle or without it feeling like, oh, my hair really hurts. The other thing that I think is a travel essential is obviously jewelry. I don't really want to have to change my jewelry, so I usually wear like little hoops like this that I don't even bother changing when I travel. And then this I thought would be such a perfect compliment. Actually, my friend Kim, she basically gave it to me after I did her makeup for City Line. This is made by a woman who was taken out of human trafficking, and the actual circle here is her thumbprint, and then the XO inside of it is Kim's logo, being a company that obviously supports and empowers hours women. I love that this is a necklace when you purchase it, it actually gives back and I just love the whole concept behind it. Because I lightened my hair recently and I really do want to take good care of it. This is something that you can use, it's Olaplex number three hair strengthener. Or you put it in your hair, leave it on for 10 minutes or if you have really damaged hair you can leave it on overnight and then you wash it off and literally your hair just feels so good in the mornings. A must have especially if you're traveling and going to the beach. All right guys, so that is my roundup of travel must-haves. I hope that you learned something and feel free to DM me, ask me questions, specific questions in terms of where you're going and what you should bring. That is my roundup of my absolute favorite travel must-haves. Happy traveling guys!